Hey guys, I'm Devin DeLima, and this week I want to talk about something that's very near and dear to my heart, and that's HGTV. So you guys have probably all seen those different types of shows where people are looking for houses or they're remodeling their house, and you just think, wow, these people are so cringeworthy. And then you might start wondering, how did these people even get on here? Like, who selected them as the best of the best? Now, I get it. Some people just put on a persona for TV, or they're just acting out in front of the camera, or they're just adhering to their contract. I get it. But, oh my god. What is with these people? And they're also always looking for the same types of people, it seems. Which is why I made this video. I mean... I once put together an entire IKEA bookshelf with no leftover parts. So yeah, I'm pretty confident that I could renovate an entire kitchen. Um, I'm a part-time barista, so my budget is one million dollars. What updated kitchen with new appliances that's meant for a chef. But I'm just gonna postmate everything. Mr. Mittens likes to run around outside, so we definitely need a fenced-in yard for him. Currently live at home and I'm unemployed, so you know I can only put my budget to four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I would love a fixer-upper, but it has to be built this year. One time, I watched someone else make a key for my house because I needed a copy, so I am not afraid to install a bay window whatsoever. He likes to look at himself in the water a lot. So, um, while I hate upkeep in any shape or form, we're gonna have to get a house with a pool. I want a big yard for kids to run around and stuff. I have a kid. We all just, like, get one to, like, run around and stuff. I love Mid-Century Modern. I would definitely rather be asleep right now. My mom once told me I would be a really good carpenter, so I have no problem handling installation of hardwood floors. Like, I'll do it. Watch me. I would love to see something a little bit more modern, and I would love to never see her again. So being a teacher, you know, it pays a lot more emotionally than it does physically, so you know, my uh, my budget's gonna be this piece of gum in my pocket. Figuring out plumbing to me is absolutely no issue because I used to play Super Mario Brothers as a kid all the time. I need a room to do like all my crafts and stuff. I need a room to hang myself. I want a place that's painted really well because I don't know how to paint. <laughs> One time in college, I kissed a girl for like the first time ever, so like I'm pretty sure I can get rid of walls. I work in a law office, so my budget is like $35. I want a pull, but I don't know how to swim. We really needed all the space. I just need some space. I'm a sound therapist, so like I hit pots and pans near injured people. I'm supposed to like heal them with those waves. So I can only, you know, cap out at like 800k. I want something with a lot of curb appeal, but I want as far away from the road as possible. As you can tell, he's a busy little man. So uh, I definitely need an office space for him. I currently work as a waiter downtown, so my budget's only $4 million. He likes to stretch out in the sun, so natural light is a must. I don't mind a fixer-upper, but it definitely needs to be a turnkey property. I want a huge house for our children. I regret having children. I'm a shoe salesman at the mall, so I would like to stay within, you know, at least under to about $500,000. Don't really want to go over that. Sometimes, when I'm on the toilet, he just locks eyes with me and stairs. It's kind of politic. I want a big yard, but I don't want to do any sort of landscaping. I get what I want. <laughs> I wish I never married her. He's a light sleeper, so I definitely need a second bedroom just for him. My rich parents just died, so I guess like 10 million dollars, I guess. I mean, we'll see what kind of neighborhood it's in. I hope to have a space that we can grow into. And I hope to grow alone soon. Mr. Mittens is very in love with the cat next door. So we have to stay in this neighborhood. I want overhead fans, but only outside. I was definitely that kid that used to bury all of his toys in the yard. So landscaping is gonna be really natural to me. I want an open concept. I want him to die. He loves his own space. So I would really prefer a house that's divided into two separate wings. I want something nice and cozy, but I also just want like an open concept. I'd like a patio space for him. I want to call it a patio. I want a farm sink. I want to be able to drown myself in it. I want a lot of natural light 
but I hate windows. I need room for his cat tree because uh, without it, he'll just bob it all over the place. I want a statement piece in the center of the living room, but I don't want to take away from me. I do documentaries for uh, butterflies, so definitely want to stay at my max at 600K. Like, that's it. I want double batteries, even though I'm single. Just a messy bitch. He hates fixer uppers, so there's no way we can do that. I mean, look at him. He hates it. I want a patio space for entertaining. We have no friends because of you. I want a jetted tub, but I hate taking baths. I need a huge master bedroom for him. I'll probably sleep on the couch. I want to live in the most expensive part of the city. And I want to die. Hope you guys liked that dumb video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I put out new videos every single Saturday. Also, if you haven't been watching them, I also put out Ranger Reviews on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and it's such a passion project for me, and I am enjoying doing them so, so, so much. So if you guys want to check that out, feel free to. I'll leave the playlist over here or wherever it is here. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next week for another brand new video. Later! I don't mind. <laughs> I want a backyard, but I don't. <laughs> Why did I say yard like that? Yard. <laughs> the talent is being bad. <laughs> You're supposed to be a star.